What's up, YouTube family? It's your boy Nemo Lazo, and we're back with another video on why I chose the company Warner. So today I'll be taking you guys throughout the whole orientation process, how long orientation lasted, and what to expect going into Warner, and if Warner is or not a good fit for you. So, and uh, I almost forgot, man. RP Kobe and Gianna, man. Now let's get this video started. So I started orientation on a Friday, so that got me in on Thursday, of course. Uh, I came in through Atlanta. Now they're gonna offer you three ways to get to the terminal. The first one being you drive your own car, which is what I did. The second one being they offer you a rental. Or number three, you can actually fly out if you're actually too far away from the terminal itself. So me being able to drive and all that, I went ahead and drove my car. Cause to be quite honest, I didn't wanna be stuck at the terminal waiting on a shuttle you know, to go to Walmart or whatever. So I went ahead and just drove my own car. So I started my orientation on a Friday. So I obviously got here Thursday night. I think check-in time was around six, you know, 3 p.m. to 12 a.m. Uh, I obviously got here around, I think it was 6.30, you know, just to ensure that I'm not, I'm getting enough sleep. Cause obviously you have to wake up around 6.30 a.m. for orientation. And uh, so my, you know, let's fast forward all the way to Friday. And uh, Friday was pretty good, man. We just came in there and, uh, you know, we really just did paperwork. We took our drug test. Uh, we did our hair test, of course. So, uh, you know, if you're not clean for more than three months, you know, I'd say even five months, six months, you know, then I wouldn't even bother coming. I would just really just wait because you fail that drug test, it's gonna be on your record and you're really not gonna be able to get another job from here on out. So, you know, just a heads up. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we took the test, we took the hair, the drug test and, um, you know, we got all that done and we did, we just did computer work, uh, uh, something called e-learner. And what that was is we just went through, kind of like college, think about it like college. You know, that, that's the best way to describe it like college man like you're just doing homework on the computer and this and that you know not too much pretty easy just watching videos and presentations and taking a little quick test and um, you know we did that uh, that was the first day and then so the second day would have been saturday and you know i came in on saturday and uh we did some more work and more uh paperwork you know just to ensure we had everything and uh we actually went out driving. I think it was, yeah, we went out driving. Uh, they took us in groups. We went out driving in each group, I think for like 15, 20 minutes. So just to see where we're at and all that. And uh, we did some backing too, just to see where we're at as well. And then at the end of the day, he taught us coupling and uncoupling. And that was basically the second day. So the third day, uh, we had to take, we had to go through a, a three, four hour class about, uh, you know, learning safety driving skills and this and that. And then we actually went out after that and had to implement what we learned in class onto the road. So, you know, everything is, you know, everything was pretty, you know, nothing was really difficult, you know, as long as you just focus and get through everything, you know. I think everybody in the class really just, wanted to go ahead and you know get on get on with the trainer and you know get their whole training go through and so you know everybody was focused and you know trying to get everything done so they can finish orientation and then you know go ahead and start driving and not you know be in class all the time and then uh i think the third day we just uh, we did more paperwork like that uh, and then and then that was it it was just a three-day orientation and uh, we were mostly just in the classroom. Just think of it like a regular high school class. You know, you're doing your paperwork, and, you know, listening to the instructor, and uh, you know, some driving, you know, coupling, backing, and that's really just it for orientation. And, and um, so what they're gonna do is put you in a hotel throughout all this, and uh, you guys gotta be, you know, you know, quite aware, and, you know, take precautions to everything because. As soon as you come into the hotel, they're gonna have eyes on you. As soon as you come, they won't tell you this, but they are. You know, they have cameras everywhere. They have people. Actually, they actually have people that aren't 
you know, part of the winter orientation in there or just going around looking to see if anybody's, you know, doing, the, you know, stuff like drinking, you know, and stuff like that. So if you're going to come here to think that, you know, it's going to be all fun and games in terms of drinking and partying, you know, you got something coming again because, you know, you do some dumb shit like that, they're going to they're gonna tell the terminal and, you know, they're always watching. And, uh, you know, this is the orientation is really like pre-hired. So you're, you're really not hired yet. So, you know, I really just stayed in my room all day. Most of the day, I just chilled out, and, you know, because I just wanted to get this shit over with and, you know, just get things rolling and, and you know, go to the next step of things. And uh, so all around orientation really isn't that much. It's three days, you know, you'll, you'll probably meet some people. I met some pretty cool people. It's like CDL school, you know, so that's the best way to summarize, you know, really not doing too much and, uh, you know, that's it. So after orientation, you're going to be in the hotel still, just waiting for your your trainer, I believe. And uh, while you're doing that, that's when you're going to be meeting your fleet manager and then your trainer, of course. And then uh, really for maybe it could last three weeks, up to three weeks, but usually around one to three days, you're going to go on the road with the trainer. And the training on the road lasts about 20, 21 days. It could be more, but I think you need a minimum of 21 days to finish the training. So, you know, all around, it's, it's pretty straight. And uh, all around, you'll probably be out for like, maybe a month maybe a month and a half i like to say you know I, you know I, I can only speak for myself you know it may be different from, for some for some other people but uh you know after that you get assigned your you know your truck and uh you start on your account now they got me on the, the walmart account over here which is you know just driving throughout the night and you know just bumping i think it's one or two dogs at night really so, you know, it's really not, you know, it's a pretty easy account and uh, I would recommend it for anybody. And, uh, you know, in terms of choosing accounts, you know, they don't just got any account you can choose, you know, you know what I'm saying? You, like, as soon as you apply, you know, when you apply, that's when a recruiter will call you and tell you what kind of accounts they have available, you know? So I, I pretty much lucked out and got the Walmart account but I think most of my classmates got the Dollar General account. So, you know, uh, and one thing they tell you too is my recruiter told me that I had to wait, I think it was six months to switch accounts, but uh, a lot of my instructors said I can switch accounts at uh, any time I want. So, you know, I'm pretty happy where I'm at right now. So, you know, I don't think that's really too necessary. And, uh, you know, all in all, Werner's a good company. You know, uh, I, I like the way they do things. You know, there's some things you're not gonna like. Like, uh, you know, just everything, like the driver facing cameras. Uh, you can't have anybody in your truck, of course. Only one, only the rider, only one person on the rider policy. But you know, other than that, as a first year student, there's really not much, you know, you know, to, you know, that, that you won't like. You know, most of the stuff you like, you just gotta keep a positive mindset throughout the whole process. You know, again, that one year experience, and you know, once you do that, you can take the experience, go get another job, go find a better paying job. You know, so, you know, all in all, Werner was, Werner's pretty good to me right now. You know, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, you know, all in all, everything's going well. That's about it for today's YouTube video. Uh, if you guys got any questions, feel free to email me, put my email down below, and then I'll put my Instagram too. You can direct message me from there, but all in all, man, I'll keep you guys updated, man.